not your turn. Sorry. This is a story about a certain smell I noticed a few years back. Here you are. Thanks. Ugh. The last person who sat here was using way too much perfume. Huh? I don't smell anything. Susuji, you're so sensitive to smell. Wanna switch seats? Sorry, thanks. No worries. I didn't really think about it, but like my friend said, I was really sensitive to smell. I'm thinking about taking a trip to Spain by myself. Wow, you're so adventurous. Oh, again. Karin, did she get a new fabric softener? That day, I noticed a new smell coming from my friend. It wasn't much, but something felt different. Then... Sorry, I'm not feeling well. Don't think I'll make it tomorrow. Alright, no worries. Take care of yourself. Karin, is she okay? She's not getting better. She went to the doctor, but they couldn't find anything. Karin wasn't feeling well. She started spending more time in her room. Then, a few days later... Suzuki! I just got a call from Karin's mom. She was rushed to the hospital. What? Karin was hospitalized when they started accepting visitors. We went to see her. Karin, can we come in? Ugh. What's that smell? Karin? When I opened the door, I noticed a strong smell. It didn't smell like medicine. Yuri, Susuji, you came. Thank you. It was a thick, sweet smell. It was really unpleasant, and Karin's room was filled with the scent. Karin, she seemed really sick. Hope she's okay. Yeah, I was scared. I couldn't ask Yuri about that smell. I remembered something. I recognized that smell from somewhere. Three years ago, my dad passed away when he was in the hospital. <coughs> he had that same smell. It wasn't because of his age, and it wasn't coming from the medicine he was taking. I always wondered what it was. And another thing. What's wrong? Teacher, the science room, it happened again. There's a dead rat. Not again. My elementary school was pretty old. There were holes everywhere. Small animals would often crawl in and die inside the building. I couldn't see it, but I could smell it. That nasty, sweet smell. It was a smell of death. After that, scared of the odor, I couldn't go see Karin. Hey, I'm gonna visit Karin next weekend. Can you come? Yeah, uh, sure. I couldn't stay away forever. I felt bad for Karin. I decided to pay her a visit. Please, let the smell be gone. Oh, Susuji, Yuri. You came. Huh? Susuji? Karin looked much better, and that smell, it was gone. Karin? Karin? Whoa, Susuji? I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> Susuji, you're so dramatic. The smell was completely gone. Then Karin beat her illness and got out of the hospital. She no longer had the odor after that. Here, souvenirs from Spain. Thanks! But... Ugh. What if I noticed that smell again? And what if that person was sick? The thought really scared me. I started keeping my distance from people so I couldn't smell them. And I became overly sensitive to my own odor while I was changing. Hopefully... Really? <laughs> and then... I'll never come across that smell again. That's crazy! <laughs> ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。刺繍がしても、カリンさんは無事だったので、必ずしもなくなるわけではないんですね。ですが、友達の危機だったわけですし、匂いをかくことがトラウマになるのは当然と言えます。そういえば、虫歯